Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Several of you have asked, so we thought we'd set up a couple different colored lasers and show you the difference between the two and what may or may not work for you in the future for outdoor building purposes. So if you like this video today, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when we're putting out new videos. All right, so what I have set up here is our go-to workhorse. This is our Stabila LAR350. I probably just knocked it out of level by touching it. You can see it flashing there. Uh, it'll start spinning again. It's, it's basically a bulletproof laser, never fails, never lets us down, works stupendously all the time. While we're at it, one quick update on this LAR350. We received the rechargeable battery pack for this unit and we really like it. Now I don't have to carry around D-cell batteries all the time. Uh, you just plug it into the wall, it charges, stick it in there, you can let this baby run all day and then you just can keep recharging it. We do keep a set of D-cell and the adapter in the case in case we need it, but from now on we're gonna be using this one as well. So just a quick update on that, just thought I'd let you know. So what I have over here is the LAX300G and it's a green laser. Uh, not quite as robust as the LAR350, but uh, it still has a pretty good set of features in it. And one thing I'll tell you right now is I can see it quite better in daylight than I can the red laser. All right, so let's go over to the wall and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so basically you can see the green laser pretty much without detection. We actually have a receiver for both of these lasers. So let me uh, pop that real quick. So if I, if I was not able to see the green laser, I do have a receiver that shows us when we're right on the dot. Now, the, I have a receiver for the red laser as well. And again, this is a little more robust. The LAR350 is IP65 rated, so it's raining right now. Um, I don't care if my laser's getting wet because it's designed to handle that. So basically, to find the red laser line, I'm gonna have to use my receiver, which you can see it's picking up on right now. But it, to get it on the money, there we go. So that's where the red line is, okay? I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but can you actually see the red line? Barely. Barely? Okay, I can barely see it as well. If it was sunny out, I wouldn't really be able to see it at all. But to me, this is almost so faint that I would have to have the receiver no matter what to see the line. So in exterior use, if you really wanna be able to see what's going on, you may consider the green laser. They do make a, a, a little bit more robust green laser than the one we have here. So maybe I'll try to get one of those and we'll do a subsequent video and, and then we'll compare it to the LAR350. I still love that LAR350. It's always gonna remain in my arsenal. But if you're looking for something that does a horizontal and vertical plane very quickly, the green laser might be, the LAX300 might be an answer for you. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Like these videos, leave me a comment below, let me know how, you, how we're doing and what other videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching, have a great day.